This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Chip in Tampa, Florida, on February 2nd, 2006. The Adventures of Pinocchio by C. Colodi, translated by Carol della Chiesa. Chapter 14. Pinocchio, not having listened to the good advice of the talking cricket, falls into the hands of the assassins. "'Dear, oh dear, when I come to think of it,' said the marionette to himself, as he once more set out on his journey, "'we boys are really very unlucky. Everybody scolds us, everybody gives us advice, everybody warns us. If we were to allow it, everyone would try to be father and mother to us. Everyone, even the talking cricket. Take me, for example, just because I would not listen to that bothersome cricket, who knows how many misfortunes may be awaiting me. Assassins, indeed!' At least I have never believed in them, nor ever will. To talk sensibly, I think assassins have been invented by fathers and mothers to frighten children who want to run away at night. And then, even if I were to meet them on the road, what matter? I'll just run up to them and say, Well, signore, what do you want? Remember that you can't fool with me. Run along and mind your business. At such a speech I can almost see those poor fellows running like the wind. But in case they don't run away, I can always run myself. Pinocchio was not given time to argue any longer, for he thought he heard a slight rustle among the leaves behind him. He turned to look, and behold, there in the blackness stood two big black shadows, wrapped from head to foot in black sacks. The two figures leaped toward him as softly as if they were ghosts. "'Here they come!